When I was younger, I always wanted to be a part of something big. Granny dribbling to her left, spots up for three, left wing, bang, got it. Our opponents will look at South Carolina and think, oh, easy win. Keisha Sutton will try three right side, bang, got it. Good start for Keisha Sutton. A big smile for the senior. The thing that we kind of hold ourselves to is just keep fighting. Good things will, will come to us. Passes left, Courtney Newton. She'll try three, left elbow, bang, got it. Three-pointer, Courtney Newton. We're going out, we're battling every single day. Low posted to Daniels. Daniels shot blocked by Charnay Stevens, and Stevens with the rebound. And I feel like we've, we've come to this point and we've earned it. We deserve it. Carolina Gamecocks are going to do it. They're headed to the Sweet 16. Pack your bags. We're going to Fresno for the first time since 2002. The Gamecocks are in the Sweet 16. They knock off 13th ranked Purdue on their home floor, 72 to 61. My method when I first took the job, you know, at South Carolina uh, was to just hit the, hit the ground running. Try to use basketball uh, to shape their lives. Coach Staley came and talked to me and she sold me on the idea of working hard. I just remember coming in as a freshman and just, you know, being shy and scared and just all these things that I'm not now. My freshman year, I would never, ever leave my room. Like, it was class, practice, my room. The first year, it wasn't really the basketball part that, you know, we had in common. As a person, I already think I'm um, quiet, shy, kind of laid back, like very observant. So just text at home, like I, I'm leaving, I'm coming home. Like, I, it's so hard here. I can't do this. Just a bunch of doubts kept creeping in my mind, you know, whether it was a hard track workout or a practice or I got fussed at in practice. It was just. I would, get, I would get into my shell, kind of. Keisha came in as a you know, freshman that really had confidence issues. Of course, they started having like team events and you know stuff like that to build our chemistry. We just had to keep hammering home. Look what you've done. Look at these moves that you've made. Look at the growth that you, that's taken place. You wanted to you know, go home every single day, you know, ever since you stepped forth on campus. And the fact that you stuck it out you know, means that you belong. Throughout this process, it's really taught me, you know, a lot about myself as an individual. It has, it's given me a lot of self-confidence to, you know, know the things that I can accomplish and the things that I can, you know, overcome. Courtney's really an easy conversation for me. She's one that stuck with it when she, you know, she had an out. I had a lot of time taken away from me with basketball with, you know, my injuries, so I didn't feel like as a player and a person that I really wanted to walk away from an extra year when, you know, it got taken away from me so many times. She's the ultimate, you know, person that sacrificed just her body. She's one that persevered over injury. She persevered over, you know, you know what the doctors were telling her was the best uh, for her, you know, but the, the itch to play. We could not have possibly done, you know, or had the success that we had um, if it were not for Courtney's ability to lead, Courtney's ability to, to overcome, and Courtney's ability uh, to, to believe in the vision of our coaching staff. You know, Ebony is the, the ultimate role player. You know, she is one that, you know, probably if she if she's gone to another program, could have played more minutes, um, maybe could have started, maybe could probably have been appreciated a little bit more um, just from a playing standpoint. Um, but we do appreciate, you know, her ability to kind of sit back and wait her turn. And her turn very rarely came in the form of, you know, she wanted to play more. You know, she wanted, she's a competitor. She wanted to play, but, you know, when you're putting a program together, when you're putting a team together, you know, some, some players are gonna have to play that role and play it to the best of their ability. And it doesn't mean they have to be satisfied with it, nor was e Ebony satisfied with her position. And, um, but she kept fighting. She kept making our team better um, by her play on and off the floor. You know, Ebony was one that, you know, there were very few times in which she questioned, you know, our coach's decision um, to, to not play her, you know, to play her. You know, she was always ready, you know, when her number was called. And she's someone that, you know, she's going to be able to draw on her, on her experiences here, you know, at South Carolina and make someone, someone a little bit better. You know, just 
just because she's got a different story than everybody else. A story of sacrifice, a story of perseverance, a story of, you know, being the first to graduate, you know, in her family. So, you know, you know, my, my hat really goes off to Ebony because not everybody could have uh, played this role and played it out to the best of their ability. Chardonnay is, you know, I think our history, you know, over the past four years has been, it has been hot and cold. We weren't on the same page very early on. I wasn't looking necessarily at the long picture. I wasn't looking, I'm like, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna be on TV. I didn't plan to be a parent, but life does a full circle, you know what I'm saying? So now there are things that have to be done. My life now is a, a lot about goals. Graduation, that's a goal, and I'm making it. Uh, Career-wise, that's a goal, and you know, I want to be this, I want to be a police officer, that's a goal. Everything is set on a goal, not just jumping in head first. Charnae is, is one that I'm so very proud of. I am just from top to bottom, from first year to her fourth year. I'm proud of her maturation process, but she's certainly, you know, one that's going to be a great example for her, her son, Chris. I want my son to, you know what I'm saying, understand that there are hard things in life, but everything doesn't have to be hard. Like, it's just... It's a lot of goal setting for me now. I, I just want, I want to be successful in everything that I do and I want to take it a day at a time. I think I've grown a lot in my confidence area. Markeisha absolutely loves basketball. You know, she absolutely is a uh, people pleaser in every right. You know, she's probably a coach's dream in that she's never going to go against the coaches. Some things I think I should do or I should do it my way and she wanted it done a certain way and I think, oh, I don't think that's going to work or something like that. Yeah, I've gotten on Markeisha a number of times and probably too much because I know she can take it and I know she wants more from the game of basketball. When I think about my relationship with Coach Staley, I think of it like, uh, like my big sister. I see a lot of Coach Staley in me, you know, knowing her values and things like that. She values family and um, loyalty. She's someone that I'll, that I'll always be in my life. I've always respected her and I just am so grateful that I've been able to have the opportunity to play for her. Her voice hasn't left me. When I've been in trouble, she didn't give up. She didn't say, Charnay, go away and stay away. She's never done it. She said, Charnay, get time to yourself to figure out where you want to be and what you want to do. Coach Daly was into uh, making me better as a person and a player. I think our future is bright, you know, in that our, our program is at a place where it's running itself. It's at a point where our leaders are leaving a legacy of leadership. I just hope we rub off. I, I, want, the, I want the legacy to continue. I want that leadership to always be there. We broke a lot of records this year. We've done some things that no other South Carolina women's basketball team has done. So I think players coming in next year, the year after that, they're gonna see that and they're gonna wanna stay up at that standard. My expectations for this team would be to get to the tournament, uh, ultimately um, winning a national championship. Coach Daly has a lot of good recruits coming in next year and years to follow. So I think they can continue the tradition what we left behind. Next year coming in, there's nothing, nothing to stop us. I'm very proud of what we've been able to accomplish over the past four years. And I'm also looking forward to the next four years.